Cook Family Feed Barn has a wide variety of all kinds of pet and livestock products. Um, we sell poultry feed, we sell dog food, cat food. Um, we have every kind of farm animal uh, feed that people need as well. Um, we also have an office area where we have all kinds of dog treats and um, pet supplies, milk replacers, things like that. Um, we sell flea and tick treatments as well that I know people um, purchase a lot in the community. Um, we have wormers and things like that. So just a lot of basic pet and animal supplies as well. So you think that a lot of people are worried about the closing of Walmart. Uh, can your business provide anything that Walmart could that people might be worried about getting? Sure. Um, you know, dog food and cat food probably is the biggest thing that people, mm -hmm. you know, would go to Walmart for that they wouldn't maybe think to stop in here. Um, so we do have a lot of dog and cat food. We have everything that's, um, you know, value priced all the way down to $16 a bag for dog food that's 40 pounds. Um, if they're looking for something cheap and then all the way up through, you know, products that are grain free and, and sort of everything in between. And, and same thing with the cat food. Um, lots of different products and different price points. We have um, lots of different sizes of bags as well. And since Walmart closed, I started supplying us with some smaller bags too because I know some people will need to transition from a different brand that they maybe were feeding before mm -hmm. that now they're you know going to feed something different that maybe they can get here and so you know they may want to try a small bag to see if their pet likes it so it's very convenient um, we are drive through the buzzer just went off there letting us know somebody's out in the barn so um, it's very easy for people to drive in um, we load the products for them you know some things are 40 or 50 pounds and some people it's not easy to you know carry those or put them into a vehicle so we do that um, we also have water softener salt, so that helps people out, you know, lifting those heavy bags as well. Um, and community-wise, we're big supporters of 4-H. Um, we do a lot where we, you know, donate to 4-H and do different things for them. That's that's something that we really try to support in the community. Uh, what are your goals for your business in these coming years? Um, I think like any business, you know, we like to grow. Um, it's always fun to have new customers. Um, we recently sent a mailer out in town to try and get some new customers in. So I always like seeing new faces come in and, you know, our business is growing and, and being able to help people. Um, you know, I, I'm a former teacher, so I still have that in me that I like to, to teach people and help people. So I enjoy that part of it. Down in this section, um, we have dog food. It starts off um, price-wise with the 50-pound and 40-pound bags. Um, those products have corn in them, and from there it kind of goes up. Um, we have some products then that just don't have corn in them, and then it goes to grain-free products as well. So we have everything in between. We also have a whole section of puppy foods um, that people can get as well. And again, we have anything down from a five-pound bag all the way up to a 50-pound bag and all the sizes in between for dog food. This is the section where we have all of our cat food. Um, we have a lot of different cat foods. Some of those are meant for indoor cats. Um, we have some kitten food. We also keep some um, canned kitten food inside the office area as well. Um, we start off at a six pound bag and then it goes all the way up. We have a 40 pound bag if people are feeding outdoor like barn cats or something like that. So there's a wide variety of those. And then we also, um, keep in the cat litter. We have a scented and unscented kind. We even have the tidy cats that's uh, the lightweight in the bucket. And then also some pet bedding as well. That's the cedar bedding that people like for those. This area is our um, cattle feed section. Um, we have a, a big variety of that for people that um, they have milk replacer if they're starting off with um, bucket calves or if they're gonna feed them out to uh, market, then we can, we can feed them all the way through. This area has um, all of our poultry feeds as well as bird seeds. So we, if you have um, layers, we've got a layer pellet. We also have some feeds for people that raise ducks and geese and things like that. And then um, if people just like to feed wild birds, we have black oil sunflower seed as well as some seed mixes and those come in a variety of bags as well. Cook's Feed Barn is open from 8 to 5.30 on weekdays and 8 to 12 on Saturday, but they are closed on Sunday. That's all for this inside look of Rushville's Cook's Feed Barn, and this is a reminder to shop local, Rushville.